Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome back to episode number two of Human Resource Machine. Last time we left off, we was in the equalization room, um, or just about to take on the equalization room, having um, completed the subtraction challenge last time along. So, um, yeah, this time, let's see what we've got. Sometimes, some numbers are bigger than other numbers. And sometimes, they are the same. How can we know? I read about that here in the great book. Which number are you for the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. All right, so get two things from the inbox. Sorry, let's reset my timer. Sorry. Um, if they are equal, put one of them in the outbox and discard the non-equal pairs. Repeat. You got comments. You can use them, if you like, to mark sections of your program. Comments are always good. Always comment your code, pro uh, aspiring programmers. It makes debugging a lot easier. Anyway. Hello world! Get away. Uh, okay, so, two things from the inbox, so, copy to zero, copy to, oh, I can't just do that, copy to one, I need to do that though, I don't need to copy that, so, inbox, copy to zero, and then, So what I need to do, actually, is now subtract from zero. That will go back to the beginning, and if it's zero, we're going to put it in the outbox, because if it's zero, copy from zero, and head it to the outbox. So what this is doing is, if, they, if we subtract them and they equal the same thing, then we know they're the same. Right? That should work. Okay, I need the jump of zero in a different place. That's what I need to do. If they're equal, put one of them in the outbox. Oh, I haven't done it. Wow, yeah, sorry. My bad. Third time lucky. There we go. Ooh, it was one step over. How could we reduce that by one step then? I mean, I could do something that's I would really frown upon normally, but we could do this, this, this to outbox, this, this, one, two, three, four, five. This is ten items. Oh no, it's eight items on the belt. That seems a bit... Glorious failure. Solution not robust. But it fails on, on other possible inputs. Yes, here. I'll give you some inputs that cause your solution to fail. And see... So you can see for yourself. 
Yes. Well, we got a hidden achievement anyway, or some sort of achievement. But yeah, that's like I said, that, that really is not the best thing to do. So what if we did inbox, add... I'm doing an inbox, add inbox. So we have to copy for a start. Inbox, add to zero. If it's zero. If it's not zero. Copy from, outbox. I'm sure that's what I had before, but I... I hmm. uh, what happened there? Traction. How can that be improved? So it's like we could do like get rid of the, like the last jump, but we need that in there. Inbox, copy it to the floor. We have to put it on the floor to do an add or subtract. That'll break it. I'm sure that will break it. just goes goes to there but we need to get out of it first okay can't do that all right maybe another one I'll have to give some thought to Let's go back to the elevator and we'll um, try the maximization room. There's been a change of plans. The accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer profitable. Management wants the big numbers only. Okay. Just, sorry. Grab two things from the inbox and put only the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they are equal, just pick either one and repeat. Okay, so, two things from the inbox, but only the bigger of the two. Okay, so, copy this to the floor, grab the next thing. So let's think, if we do what we've got in our hand, subtracting from zero, so, well, let's think about this. Four, take away two. So if it's negative, so if it's negative, we know the number is, if it's negative, we want to send it to the outbox. If it's equal, what are we going to do if it's equal? 
just pick either one. So copy from zero, outbox, jump, back to the beginning. So if it's negative, then the one that we've got in our hand, we're going to have to copy it though, aren't we? We're going to have to copy both of them to the floor. Both. So if it's negative, then we're going to copy it from one, move it to the outbox. Else, if we get to here, we're going to want to copy from zero. Move it to the outbox, jump back again. Let's see what happens. Oh, if it's negative, it's going to be the higher number because it's... Yeah. Ah, right. Okay, so... If it's negative, we're going to want to copy from... Zero. Then copy that from one. All right, let's try this. Four, two. So this needs to take the minus four. No, that's a bigger number, sorry. Of course, it's bigger than that. So this should take that one. This should take the three. Okay. start again. Okay. Take something from the inbox, copy it to the floor. Take the other thing from the inbox, copy it from the floor. So, <clears throat> if they are equal, so let's take, we've got one in our hand, right? So we're going to subtract from zero. And if the example is zero, We will copy from zero, move to the outbox, jump back to the beginning. Okay. If the result is negative, if the result is negative, What have we done? We've taken the second number. So if it's negative, then the first number we used is going to be the higher number, right? So then we're going to copy from one. If it, so if it's positive, then the first one's got to be, so copy from zero, jump to there. Okay. 
Hold on. If it's negative when we're subtracting the second number, oh man. Let's clear it out again. Come out, debug. Alright, inbox, copy to zero. Inbox, copy to one. Subtract from zero. So if we get a negative value, then the first number has got to be the higher number, right? Copy from zero, and then we'll jump to outbox, jump back to the beginning. Right, if it is zero, Again, we just want to copy from zero. So can I not just do that? Get rid of that for a minute. So if it's negative of zero, do that. Else we want to copy from one. jump to here, right? Subtract the second number from the first. If it's negative, the first has got to be bigger. So we're going to copy from zero. Right, yeah. Alright, let's try this. Okay, but we're not very optimized. So why don't we just do... Take away the zero. So if it's negative... Do that. Alright, does that do it any like quicker? A little bit quicker. Take out the jump. We don't need that extra jump. Eight, three. Oh dear, I didn't expect to be like getting into like this this much difficulty so early on. Um, maybe because I've sailed through the the first ones. It's five four. Four minus five is negative take it from there but what if they're both negative though that's the problem yeah. 
Oh, because it's doing the recopy. So I do need the extra jump in there. Of course, yeah, because if it's not negative, it drops into a copy from one. Do that as ten. Another one I think we're going to have to come back to. Let's, um, bit of employee moral insertion. <laughs> and that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long distance telephone service. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> back to work, everyone. <laughs> wow. You've got to have a chuckle with the office skills, let's face it. Breaking news. Some weird goings on in this uh, this world, that's for sure. Right, let's have a look at the exclusive lounge. We have also reached career milestone number two. Yes, I always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. All right. So for each two things in the inbox, send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign. So, send a one if their signs are different. So, if you do a... If a plus... So if all the signs in the calculation are the same, so if you do like a minus, 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 it actually turns into a minus plus, which will give you a zero. Right? So... Grab something from the inbox, copy it to zero, grab the next thing from the inbox, and then we'll subtract the first one. So let's think. So if it's going to be, let's just put this into into theory. Six. Going to do that. Minus two. Minus minus six. It's going to be a positive four. Minus one. Uh, six. Minus minus one. It's not going to be as simple as that, though, is it? How can we do that with maths? Um... Oh, hold on. If I do that, copy that to 2 for instance, and then I, oh, let's clear, let's clear my solution, clear, yep, all right, so, inbox, copy to one, zero, sorry, inbox, copy to one, 
Then we're going to do sub zero, copy to two, copy from zero, add from one. Copy to three. Okay, so we need to check to see So hold on, let's let's just let's think about this a moment. Let's just run through what I've got here, just to see what that gives me. So, if we did that minus that, all right, guys, sorry about that, but um, we're back. Also decided I moved the camera. I was just kind of looking while I had that little break and I was thinking, well, all the text is covered over and you guys can't see what the text is. So apologies you haven't been able to see that, uh, but hopefully that will um, resolve things. Anyway, back to this. Um, I'm trying to think of a way that we can like... How can we like get like a solid way of doing this? Try to run this through. So eight four. Eight so four minus eight is gonna be negative. So that'll be negative four in two. Eight add four is gonna be twelve. So the next example I really want to say alright, negative seven, one. One minus negative seven. Minus minus is a plus. So one minus one plus seven equals eight. One add minus seven. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> this one's beyond me. Oh, so already. Don't you give me your smiley face? It's not helping. This, this, I wonder if is this the one that Deathwish was stuck on? And he was trying to do it in the steps. All right. So, what if we did? I need to feel like I need like a notepad or something here. So hold on, let's 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 think about this. So I want to run through where we got the negative. So eight minus minus seven minus becomes a plus, so that equals fifteen, right? Eight plus minus seven becomes a minus. Eight minus seven equals one. Is that how it works? Well, I can test that out on here. So, hold on. Inbox, inbox, inbox. Copy to zero. Copy to one. And then we're going to do. We're always going to have that one though in our hand, aren't we? To be one minus minus seven equals eight, right? So that, 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 
copper to two. Then copy from one. Add from zero. Copy to... Fifteen and one. Isn't that what I did before? I thought that's what I did. That would have been fifteen and one. Maybe I don't need to add and subtract. Maybe I just need to use one or the other. So if I had four minus minus one that becomes five but how do I know that that size is positive and that's negative man um hmm. <laughs> that wouldn't be that though would it so the way I'm doing it, it would be minus 1, minus 4, and that will equal minus 5. The next one would be 4, minus 7, and that equals uh, minus 3. The next one would be minus 4, minus 4. Which is minus eight. So far, none of those symbols have been the same. So inbox. Copy to one zero. Inbox. Copy to one. Subtract from zero, and then if negative, which means the signs are different, copy from the five, out box, jump. If not, we're going to copy from four. I think that's right, actually. Oh. Alright guys, I need to give this a bit of thought. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments as always down below in the comments. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.